What's going on guys, Unknown Player here and today we're going to be taking a look at nearly all of the exotic weapons that are going to be added in the Taken King expansion for Destiny. So I've also made a video about all of the exotic armor pieces in the Taken King expansion. So if you want to see that video, I'll link it in the description. That's also on my channel so you can check that one out and that will be a video all about the armor pieces. But this video is just the weapons. So we're going to take a look at them in this video. These were added to the Bungie.net website in preparation for the 2.0 patch which launched today. And we got a ton of new weapons. We're going to take a look at their perks we've got swords as well which i'm also going to take a look at and we've got a ton of info within this video so it's important to note these aren't all the weapons in the taken king there are a few more they haven't put on the website because they want to keep them as a surprise examples of the sleeper simulant and also the touch of malice those are weapons we know of but they aren't on this website so there are a few that they haven't told us about but most of them are on this website and there's some insane perks and insane weapons including swords which i can't wait to tell you guys about so let's get into the first weapon we've got the ace of spades now this is what i think is probably one of the best exotics in the Taken King to be honest this is a really cool hand cannon and we're going to go over all the most important perks for these weapons and just the ones that really stick out and make the weapons very unique so the first one is third eye that's of course a very very good perk for pvp especially and also can be kind of handy in pve if an enemy's trying to sneak up on you but that's a very good perk it's got maverick so precision kills are going to move one round from your ammo reserve into the magazine and also firefly any headshots are going to make your targets explode so that's also a very very good perk i feel like in a way it could be a replacement for fate bring almost with that firefly perk good for taking out a big group of thralls that are coming at you just headshot them and it blows all of them up so i'm definitely looking forward to using this weapon and you can all see on the page there it says sources so you can obtain this weapon through a quest reward meaning that when you complete certain quests there is a chance that you can get an exotic drop like this weapon and you can also get it in the taken king expansion which is very very vague moving on we're going to take a look at the other hand cannon this is called the first curse not too interesting to be honest it looks very similar to the last word but it is actually its own weapon it's not the year two version that's a different weapon entirely but this is a brand new hand cannon and its perks are dead eye so bonus to range stability and movement when you aim down sight triple tap rapidly landing precision hits will return one round to your magazine and the first curse precision kills or aim down sight will grant increased range and stability until the next reload so not too amazing perks there's nothing really that just like crazily stands out it seems like an okay hand cannon and a lot of course is based around aiming down sights and getting those headshots so being accurate is definitely important with this weapon but nothing absolutely incredible there i think the ace of spades is definitely one that sticks out to me in terms of hand cannons We've also got the fabian strategy into the auto rifles now this is kinetic damage it's also got crowd control so it kills this weapon grant bonus damage for a short time uh, you can have front lines which allows you to have increased handling stability and rate of fire when enemies are close that's a very interesting perk and then it's got life support kills this weapon while critically wounded have a chance to start regenerating health so it seems like a very odd weapon. A lot of the damage and range and stability is going to be changing quite a lot depending on your health and how close you are to enemies and all that kind of stuff. So it seems like a very, very odd weapon with a lot of odd perks I've never seen before. And it's going to be revolving a lot around close quarters combat. If you're close to enemies and if you're having really close gunfights, this weapon is going to be dramatically different. So a very interesting weapon with a lot of cool perks we've never seen before. The next auto rifle is the Zalo Supercell. This is an arc weapon and its perks are arc projectiles have a chance to chain lightning within enemies that are close together. So you can basically bind enemies close together and that's going to do some arc damage to them We've also got bolts from the blue so double kills this weapon will charge a small amount of your super energy and also return some ammo to the magazine that's a pretty cool perk and then persistence this weapon grows more accurate the longer it's fired so it seems like a very electrical themed weapon like you can just hose a lot of bullets into people and electrocute a lot of thralls possibly so it looks like a pretty good weapon for a ton of pve enemies then into the scout rifles we've got the talalok which is a very weird name and this has some interesting perks grenadier which is going to reduce the cooldown of your grenade when you get kills with it we've got overflow which means this weapon is better handling fire rate and stability when the wielder's super is charged so very odd perk right there if you literally just sit there with your super charge you're gonna have a slightly better handling and experience with this weapon i've also got eye of storms this weapon becomes more accurate the less health that you have so a very interesting perk but i don't think they're that great to be honest i don't think there's anything that sticks out as a potentially useful one but they are very interesting and new like i've said but i don't think they'll be too helpful it seems to revolve more around being damaged and being very weak so we have to see how that will and turns out whether it's any good or not next we have the jade rabbit a very popular weapon this is a playstation exclusive so just like the hawk moon was for the year one of destiny this is going to be only on playstation for the next year i believe and its perks are very odd it's got the fate of all fools perk which is chain body shots to gain bonus damage to your next precision shot and return ammo to the mag it's also got zen moment causing damage with this weapon increases stability spray and play increase the reload speed when the mag is empty and if you didn't notice those are all actually the same
same perks as the Fate of All Fools weapon. One of the perks is called the Fate of All Fools. If you don't know what the Fate of All Fools is, that's actually an exotic scout rifle which is supposed to be linked to the Trials of Osiris and that's been in the game code for a very long time and it's been long speculated about how to actually obtain the weapon so I'm not sure whether this is an error on the Bungie website and for some reason this Jade Rabbit has the Fate of All Fools perks or whether this weapon genuinely has these perks and the Fate of All Fools is going to be something entirely different. So it could possibly be an error or it just could be uh, how this weapon has actually turned out to be. Then we've got another scout rifle and another very interesting one because we've seen this again in the game code for a long time and this was known as the 347 Vesta Dynasty but now it's called the Boolean Gemini which is another odd name but this weapon has unflinching so it's easy to aim under fire and it's also got David and Goliath perks which allows you to have bonus agility on precision kills and that stacks up to three times or bonus armor for non-precision kills so that stacks up to three times as well and you can basically choose either to have agility or armor based on how many precision shots you actually get with the weapon so this of course is the same weapon as 347 Vesta Dynasty but it seems to have been renamed and again it seems to be very odd how they're switching around the names and the perks but this appears to be how the Vesta Dynasty has been changed in this new update with the Taken King. Into the special weapons we've got Telesto which is a fusion rifle. This does void damage and its first perk is Harbinger's Spark. Multi kills with this weapon spawn orbs for your allies which is cool. It's got unplanned reprieve which means fusion projectiles attach and detonate with a void blast for your enemies. That's a really cool perk right there. It's going to be almost like an explosive fusion rifle. And then we've got Battle Runner which is kills this weapon grant a brief boost to your sprint top speed. So that's going to increase your mobility. Then we have the Chaperone which is a shotgun. This does solar damage and its first perk is Roadborne so precision kills are going to briefly grant bonus handling range and precision damage to this weapon and it's also got survivor which kind of links into it and that means three rapid precision kills while Born on the road is actually active is going to return two rounds to the chamber so those two perks link into each other and the chaperone perk means that this weapon fires a single slug instead of a normal kind of like pellet spread like a normal shotgun would it shoots lots of tiny pellets that spread out over a range but instead this one fires a giant slug which is almost like all the pellets are condensed into one lump and and that's going to go at your enemy at once now here we have the sniper rifle which is looking really really cool i'm definitely looking forward to this sniper it does arc damage and its first perk is the hereafter crouching increases the scope zoom and makes it easy to aim under fire so that's a very cool perk we've got blinding light so precision kills have a chance to spawn a bright flash which is going to blind all of your nearby enemies and it also has perfectionist which means the magazine is refilled if all the shots fired are precision kills so this weapon literally seems like the black hammer 2.0 and i definitely cannot wait to use this sniper it looks really really cool for pve and you can literally just camp and crouch and that will increase your scope soon also make it easy to aim under fire and they'll also allow you to just pick off loads of enemies head and that's going to refresh your magazine and it's also going to blind the enemies so this looks like a really impressive sniper definitely cannot wait to use that and now we're going to get into probably one of the coolest features of the dlc and these are three exotic swords so the first one is arc and there's of course one for each element there's a solo one and a void one this is called the bolt caster now this has got some really interesting perks it's got use the uh, kind of button to attack with the sword it's got used to guard and effective against solar and void attacks and less effective against arc attacks you can kind of like mix and match between the elements it's also got tempered light which means increased armor when you're wielding the sword sword of thunder use the shot of beam to shoot an arc light from your sword creating a lingering electrical storm and it's also got some other perks down the bottom increase the ammo capacity for the sword also kills the sword have a chance to grant orbs and also increase damage and increase capacity so a lot of interesting perks right there for these swords and of course they are brand new we've never seen a sword before so it's cool to see what the perks will look like in the skill tree and also an interesting thing that i noticed is the sources lord shax is one of them so you can actually get this from lord shax at the tower and i believe that could be through his uh, packages once you do a ton of his bounties you have a chance to get this sword so it's gonna be interesting to see how that works and then i've got the dark drinker this is the void version its perks are exactly identical to the bolt caster and the only difference is of course it does void damage and it's going to do void effects so you can see what the weapon looks like in general here and then we also have the raise lighter which of course is the solar version and this is going to do the same perk as the other one the same damage same statistics is that the only difference is it's going to do solar damage instead so there was a ton of info about all of the weapons that we know about so far in the Taken King expansion if you enjoyed the video drop a like rating let me know what you're most excited for in the comment section which weapon stuck out to you and which can you not wait to get your hands on so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in the next one